She's here to help you and your child. Nice to have you here. Thanks, Connie. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, so it's halfway through the year. Mm -hmm. The child isn't doing well. It, it's, frustration sets in. Mm -hmm. Where should we start? Well, like I say, start back to the basics. Assignment pad, notebooks, calendars, keep track of daily assignments as well as long-term projects and writing in dates to get to that long-term project. Parents checking homework every night. Really staying on top of it daily. When you talk about calendars, a lot of pa parents at home are going, gosh, should I, you mean I need to put their tests on a calendar and really watch Absolutely, that? Absolutely, yes. And, and depending on the age of the student, from upper elementary up through high school and college, they should have their own, really, and keep track of everything. Okay. Small projects, large projects, daily homework. So they really know that date that's coming up. Yes, and preparing for that. Okay. Um, if, if that isn't working, what's the next step? Talking to teachers, enlisting the help of the guidance counselor, anyone at school, maybe a personal conference mm -hmm. or at, at the very least email and phone calls. But we are getting you know, to the midpoint of the school year, so meeting in person is probably a good idea. Getting a tutor, particularly a one-on-one -on -one tutor, coming to the home or coming to the center. It's real important to really sort of kick into high gear now mm -hmm. because we've already almost lost the second marking period because the grades will be out soon for that. Right. So it's important to get something really going okay. and not just waiting for it to happen. So along with getting organized, now we're meeting with the teachers and kind of building that partnership. Mm -hmm. And some of the questions that we should be asking teachers, because I think sometimes, you know, you're so defensive of your child. Yes. It can't possibly be them. It must be the teacher. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know? Right, of course. Uh, That's a parent's inclination. Right. 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 So so what are some real concrete questions we really need to be asking yeah, in a serious want, manner? That's a great point. You want to pin the, the teacher down to specifically, is it homework? Is it tests? Is it quizzes? Is it paying attention in class, not participating? Really help you as the parent to understand what is really the root of what they're seeing in school. Right. Now the actual root could be psychological, emotional. There could be something going on at school that no one knows about. There could be some kind of anxiety or phobias. So it's really important to meet with the teacher, find out his or her viewpoint mm -hmm. very specifically. But it may be something more involved. It may need counseling. You know, it may need more than just a quick approach. From it may teacher. be a longer term, especially if this has been going on for year after year. Right. If this is a sudden appearance of problems, then it may be Something remedied deeper. pretty quickly if it's a sudden appearance, oh, sure. but if it's longer term, it could be deeper. Okay, so along with the teachers, then we really need to look at the counselors and say, yes. oh, help me with this because yes. we can't get our thumb on what exactly this right. is. Right, but also not just guidance counselors in the school, but possibly psychologists, maybe having the student talk to someone. Again, if it's deeper seated than just something minor. Okay, then should we be pushing our child? Let's say, for instance, we've, you know, we've set the calendar, we've got them doing the homework, we're, we've met with the teachers, the counselors, everybody. Mm -hmm. We feel like we're at the end, and the, and the, and the student's saying, but I'm doing the best I can. Mm -hmm. um, should we be pushing them to do better? Well, it, that's really a judgment call between the tutor and the teacher and the parent. They should all be communicating as links on a chain mm -hmm. because it could be a case where the child just isn't doing his or her potential up to their level. But it could be, again, something more serious. So you could start by, if, if these other areas are not producing enough results, right. taking away something small, you know, reducing some privileges, maybe take away some TV time, some video game time, some phone time, if it's a teenager that spends a lot of time on the phone, right. or take away a weekend activity. And then you may see some improvement with the tutor and the other things that are, that are happening with communicating. Then maybe that's all it is. But there may be, you may need to take away more. As a, but again, as a punishment and also right. really as a time management thing. It, exactly. Because we get used to having so much time on the computer or so much time in front of the television. Right. We lose perspective of that compared to the investment into the homework. Yes, time management is huge and that's a great thing that the parents can do at home. Whether they set a timer or they just keep a close eye on it, it really is something to keep the student on track. Okay. Other things that we should be doing as well to really make sure that the child is held accountable? Mm -hmm. I just really believe in keeping the communication open between the school, the parent, if there is another service involved. I think that everyone puts, plays a part in this student's life, but the student has to really be coming forth and coming to the plate as well. Right. But right. holding each part of this chain accountable. Every person that deals with the child. Give them all the tools they possibly can yes. to succeed. And communication is really key, ongoing. And I guess the thing is, too, is children go through different phases in their life. Absolutely. So never give up and throw right. in the towel and oh, assume, no. okay, this is going to be the bar you're always going to be at. You're right. No, absolutely. And again, that's why sometimes some outside counseling may be helpful, just to help the parent as well, 
to understand the different phases that kids go through at right. various points in their life. Okay. Boy, great advice. Beverly Stewart, nice to have Thank you here. Thank you. Thanks for coming back. Beverly is the president and the founder of Back to Basics Learning Dynamics. If you'd like more information on how to get your kids back on track in school, you can visit our website at cn8.tv forward slash your morning. Great. Well, he's